CataractCoach.com, the squeeze chop technique, chopping the nucleus without vacuum holding power. Now, this is a technique from Dr. Dipendra Dhaliwal. She was our podcast guest yesterday here on CataractCoach.com podcast, right? Great podcast. We learned so much from her. You really should go back and listen to that podcast. And in that podcast, she talked about her routine FACO technique, which is this, the squeeze chop technique. And we're going to explain that to you. But first, before we do that, let me tell you about cataractcoach.com, the actual website. Do you know there's a full PDF book for free, How to Learn Cataract Surgery, the 25-part curriculum series? Of course, there's a link to the podcast. Check it out. There it is. I promise you, you'll learn a lot. And it's free. Now, getting back to this case here, hydro resection has been done. Obviously, the rex is done. Here's the technique. The technique is going to be using a stop and chop technique, but the chopping part does not require vacuum holding power. Now, that's a big advantage. Traditionally, with any kind of chopping, we use the FACO probe and vacuum to hold the nucleus while the chopper does the chopping. But you have a finite window of time. When you use vacuum holding power, you have maybe a one or two second window to accomplish the chop because otherwise you'll lose that vacuum holding power. So what Dr. Dhaliwal advocates instead is, you know what? Just hold the nucleus or squeeze the nuclear half between the chopper and the phaco tip. And now you don't have to worry about time. There is no time constraint. So brilliant idea. Now here comes the groove. In the stop and chop, so making a groove right down the middle, you can see it looks like a nice groove. Shallow in the periphery, deeper in the center as it should be. Beautiful. And then the nucleus will be split in half. And once that's done, then the pieces can be chopped. And we'll show you that. So there's the groove down the middle. And then looks like a spatula going in. Don't even need a chopper. Watch this. So splitting the nucleus with that spatula, there it is. Propagate that crack all the way down. Now you got two complete halves. Almost there it is. Once that's done, rotating the nucleus, and here's the squeeze chop technique. Chopper goes around, and then just trapping the piece between the FACO tip and the second instrument, and then you can achieve the chop. So watch again. Now using that paddle, just kind of bring the piece towards the center, and that looks pretty efficient. So if you're having trouble learning FACO chop because of the time constraint, Right, you buzz into the phaco probe, you hold it, but then you lose vacuum. Try this. Look, chopper goes around, and then just trapping it or squeezing it between the two instruments, and you've achieved the chop. So it looks fantastic. Very easy. Now, if you like learning from Dr. Dahlia, well, I certainly do. She's going to be at the Cataract Coach course. We have an instructor course coming up in just a couple weeks at the ASCRS meeting in Boston. It's Saturday morning, April 6th, bright and early, 8 o'clock. Get there early. The last few years, this has been standing room only. Always sells out, even though there's nothing to sell. It's totally free. It's a free course. Come if you're at the ASCRS. I promise you'll learn a lot and you'll love it. And you can see Dr. Dahlia while in action, especially when she schools me of how to do things the right way. It will be fun. And it'll be a great learning experience. Now, the end of the case here, you can have an epinucleus shell. You can see just wolfing that down here, getting that epinucleus up. I like the use of that, that second instrument, that spatula, to kind of rotate the pieces around and kind of feed it into the probe. So it's like a thick epinuclear shell, and that can be brought up here. And you know the trick, right? Flip it over. Once you get that flipped over and pull out of the bag, then it goes down pretty easy. Look at that. So a really nice technique or something to consider. If you're having trouble learning a regular fake chop, Try the squeeze chop technique. Again, that's a neat technique. And go back and listen to that Cataract Coach podcast. You'll be amazed when you learn things about LASIK in children. Yes, you heard it right. Acupuncture, even more. Check out that podcast with it. Let's finish up the case here. Let's go to high speed. Just cortex removal. That looks like a really nice case. So squeeze chop technique. Advantages, no time constraint. You don't have to worry about do you have enough vacuum? Do you have enough holding power? You are doing the chop literally in fake foot pedal position one, just with infusion. And then trapping the nucleus or squeezing the nuclear half between the chopper or second instrument and the phaco tip. And that's the squeeze chop technique. So, yeah, we've seen all kinds of variations now, phaco chop, something you certainly need to do. I encourage you to try this technique. Even if you have a great time doing chop, it's good to have more tools in your toolbox. Good to have more techniques here. And again, please come. ASCRS coming up April 6th. Learn from Dr. Dhaliwal and Dr. Bragamili as they are my expert panelists for the Cataract Coach instructional course live, fun times in Boston. And of course, there are the links for all the social media and the cataractcoach.com website. 
So much to learn. And remember, check out the podcast.